Dolores Haugen, Director of Community Standards. Katie Gulliford, Interim Dean of Mathematics, Sciences, and Engineering. Christopher Soren, Director of E-Learning. What happened to all that Guided Pathways work we did? I feel like we were just spinning our wheels. Didn't we have a bunch of committees every week or something? Actually, I'm glad you asked. You may feel like you were in a meeting vortex, but there was actually a lot of great things that came out of that work. We identified pillar teams. There were five pillar teams. There was mapping, getting on the path, keeping on the path, ensure learning, and metrics and tools. But one of the things we found is that some of the work between the pillar teams was overlapping. So we needed to take a pause and figure out a way to map out the ideal student journey and break up that work between the pillars. Didn't we also have other groups that met or something like that? It got a little confusing to me. I don't really understand who was doing what. That was confusing to me too. Me too. Sometimes we have to take a step back and see where we are headed. Dr. Harrell held a meeting where everyone on campus was invited, whether they were previously on a pillar team or not. They were divided into eight groups. The task of those eight groups was to map out the ideal student journey from pre-enrollment all the way to graduation. All of the input from those eight pillar teams was combined in the summer guiding team retreat. All the work of these eight groups, the pillar teams, and the guiding team meetings inform the five-year Guided Pathways work plan. Check it out! Check it out! I just got through reading that work plan. That sure seems like a lot of work. A lot of exciting change for the college. This seems like a great initiative. This is not an initiative. Guided Pathways is not an initiative. It is all about institutional reform. Again, not an initiative. Everything about institutional reform. Guided Pathways is institutional transformation. So far, the guiding team has met. The leads for each pillar, mapping, getting on the path, keeping on the path, ensure learning, and metrics and tools have started to prioritize items on the work plan that need to be completed by the end of this academic year. That sounds like a lot of work. Tell me about it. Who's in charge of all this? I'm so glad that you asked. Actually, we are in the process of hiring a Guided Pathways coordinator. In the meantime, Dolores and I continue to co-lead this work. Guided Pathways will have an impact on everyone at the college. We need your input and help. The TCC Guided Pathways teams. We have the guiding team. Currently vacant, we have a coordinator. We have Ivan Harrell, Marissa Schlesinger, Jennifer Fountain, Patrick Brown, Steve Jones, Steve Fontana, Christina Nakata-Alm, Annalia Brauerberger, Dolores Haugen, Krista Fox, Katie Gulliford, Kim Ward, John Falsco, and all the pillar leads. In the Mapping Pathways to Student End Goals pillar, we have James Mendoza and Rebecca Sliger as pillar leads, and under that we have an open pillar team. In the Helping Students Choose and Enter a Pathway, we have Mary Pedersen, Natalie Wilkerson as pillar leads, and under that we have an open pillar team. In the Keeping Students on the Path pillar, we have Jonathan Easterbrooks and Steve Fontana, and under that, the open pillar team. And then ensuring that students are learning, we have a Muno Tembo and a vacant student services spot in that pillar team, and under that, open pillar team. And in the metrics and tools pillar, we have Kelly Sadler and Christopher Soren as the pillar leads, and under that, we have an open pillar team.